Scott Wallace was contemplating purchasing a red MAGA hat, make America great again. But he was concerned that if he wears the hat and goes to a restaurant, he might get harassed. And then he realized this is a great business opportunity. What if I create a Yelp that finds safe spaces for Trump supporters who want to wear the red hat? He actually went on Fox News to describe his new business. He created an app called 63 Red. And here he is talking about the reasoning behind it and the success. Take a look. We wanted to make sure that people could let others know what restaurants may have a political bent. And we're not looking to try and find restaurants that are conservative or pro-Trump. Our aim is to get politics out of local businesses, local restaurants, and make everyone feel comfortable when they go out. So take politics out of local businesses and local restaurants, except for the person wearing the Make America Great Again hat. You can bring those politics in. But look, he I don't- does, He doesn't want to be judged for that. Look, there's- But you're going to be judged. Like, some people are not going to like it and they're going to judge you. I don't, think, I don't think people should be harassed in any way simply because they're wearing the hat. But like, let's keep it real, people are going to judge you and it is what it is. That's what politics is. Look, it's part of the reason why I don't wear TYT t-shirts out in public. Because, Boo. and it's not because I don't like the shirts, but because <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't wanna have a conversation with strangers about it. I don't wanna talk about politics with strangers. It's the last okay. thing I wanna do. All right, first of all, shoptyt.com. The onus is on me. <laughs> like, the onus is on the person sporting the political paraphernalia. You're sporting it because you're messaging to everyone that you have political views that you want everyone to know about. And you, you want that conversation, you're inviting it. And when you're wearing a Young Turks shirt, 99% of the time, it's a wonderful conversation. You go, oh, they, you watch the show too, and that happens to me too. They're like, you watch the show, oh no, you're a jank, okay. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> but, so shoptyt.com, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, but in this case, look, I don't know, there was a couple of things about this guy that uh, that I thought, nah, he's not so bad, you know? And look, if he wants to provide a service for, uh, uh, Snowflakes. Well, that, hey, look, uh, you gotta have that too. That's okay, and and it's a business. And I get why yeah. it could be, a, and especially because remember what drives conservatives most fear. So it's actually a smart business idea. Uh, so if you say, hey, if you're afraid and you need a safe space, I mean, a lot of conservatives might sign up for that. In fact, this thing is called 63 Red Safe. That, yes, yes. So he, they're literally looking for safe spaces. While all throughout the internet, they're like, "Don't you snowflake liberals want this vision?" Right? And so, all right. Is this guy? Could this guy possibly be from the left trolling Trump I don't, supporters? I don't know. He's in different parts. He actually sounds somewhat reasonable. So that's why I was like, "Huh, that's weird." Like, for example, he says, "Look, I'm trying to protect conservatives under physical attack." Okay, I think that's. A, Crazy exaggeration, but anyway, he says, but I'm not talking about religion or race or sexuality. So that's smart of him to point that out. Hey, look, this is not for white people, this is not for Christians, this is for conservatives. So that's good, right? And he says, and uh, he says about the threat, he says, I don't know whether it's real or imagined, but I do know people are concerned about it. That shows some sort of acknowledgement that, that conservatives rarely ever make. On the name of the company, 63 Red Safe, uh, Spate, I'm sorry, 63 Red Safe, people are like, oh, so what does that mean? Because they're conservatives, so they believe in conspiracy theories, right? He's like, no, 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 it's not any conspiracy. I don't know, I just picked the number, I kind of like it, sounds pretty good, right? No, not really, it's a weird name. Yeah. It's, like it's weird to randomly use those numbers. Maybe for it's what? his favorite number, I don't know. Maybe just that's say that, just say that, I, anyway, like, like, let's just acknowledge you guys need safe spaces. Like, you guys spend so much time, years, years, criticizing people who are actually disenfranchised in the country. People who have had a long history of being brutalized in America. You've criticized them for being overly sensitive, but you need a safe space so you can wear your red hat. Like, that is amazing to me. And look, again, I don't think anyone, regardless of political ideology, should be harassed, physically assaulted, simply because they believe the things they believe, right? We should all be civil to one another in that regard. But, like, you're worried that people might come up to you and, like, have a conversation about your red hat? Because it seems like 
there's a little bit of frustration that there is judgment toward people wearing the red hat. And I know that everybody's colored by their own perspective, but like you guys are obsessed. Like they, and you're totally wrong about the disproportionate violence in this country. So they think, oh, and he says it too, oh, the guy, a guy got punched at Berkeley. Those two people that neither one of them went to Berkeley, got in, started talking to each other, then they got mad at each other and had some fight, right? And was it because he was wearing a MAGA hat? Maybe, right? And or I'll even grant you probably, right? But he didn't walk up to a MAGA guy and just randomly punch him in the face. They had a whole conversation and then it got heated, right? So that goes to Anna's point, hey, you don't want you want to avoid that? I hear you, right? But that's like the one case they can point to. They're like, somebody in a MAGA hat got punched. Okay, meanwhile, black people are turned in for going doing barbecues. My favorite was some kid was mowing a lawn because he got paid to mow this nice lady's lawn and they called the cops on him. Who would mow someone else's lawn? And why would that be a danger? So right wingers see black people as dangerous like when they're coming out of a hotel, when they're going to the airport, I mean under every situation, right? Let alone the actual violence, the violence in Charlottesville. The, I mean, I wanna bring it all the way down, but the 11 people who got killed at the synagogue, that's like real violence. And as the Anti-Defamation League pointed out in, in 2018, every one of those acts where somebody got killed was done by a right-wing extremist group. If anyone actually needed a literal safe space, it would be regular American citizens from extreme, not every, but extreme right-wingers. No, right? Jank, those are the real snowflakes and the people we need to protect are those who wanna wear red MAGA hats. I wanna go to the second video of Scott Walsh because he's gonna explain how this app works. I've seen this described as uh, Yelp for conservatives, but Scott, uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the locations that are deemed unsafe, and that one right there is safe, what, what, what went into saying they're not safe? Sure, well, you know, uh, users can review the uh, local businesses and restaurants. It's just four quick questions, yes or no questions. Uh, number one, does this uh, uh, location serve all customers regardless of political beliefs? Uh, will they protect their customers if they're under attack mm -hmm. by others uh, in the restaurant? There's a concealed carry question, and does the uh, location uh, have a political presence in their social media? Again, we're trying to get politics out of these businesses. We, we want uh, businesses to understand that there's no money in politics, that, uh, we're, and we're working to call them out on it. People just want to go out and eat, they just yeah. want to go out and shop. Let's not mix the two. There's sort of a general unease among conservatives, uh, and we want to uh, make sure everything, everyone's safe out there. Okay, so again, everyone should be safe, I agree with him on that. But just the word safe is, it, it just keeps calling out to me. Uh, if you watch that carefully, you probably saw the screenshot of the app. And um, if a restaurant is deemed safe, big green letters, safe, safe space. <laughs> Here's your big safe space. And I also want to uh, draw your attention to <laughs> reviews on this app. Oh, I love this, yeah. Okay, this is my absolute favorite review left on the app. Finally. I am able to avoid places which don't respect America and the Constitution. Eat your heart out, snowflakes. <laughs> no, no, but note the irony of that. I finally have my safe space, you snowflakes. What? On the go? Don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com slash podcast.